So do you have the Modern Yeoman t-shirt on, Holly? I do. What do you think? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, that looks good. That looks great. I'm a fan. Hi there friends, welcome back to the Yostead. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman and as you can see the new laying crew here is loving life out here on the grass, away from the stainless steel confines of their brooder, which I still have them in at night. Here in a week or maybe two the meat chickens will be here, the meat chicks, and these guys will be out here full time. I for one think they're ready for it. And you might be wondering about what you saw at the beginning of this video. Am I offering merch now? The answer is yes, I am, and I'll get into that here in a minute. But before I do, I wanted to chat with you real briefly about something I've been meaning to address for some time now, and that's this notion of slowly, slowly, the phrase that I use to sign off each of my videos with. I've gotten several questions recently about what exactly I mean by slowly, slowly, and what in the world it has to do with my homestead here in particular, and my approach to life in general. Am I advocating sloth or sitting around or procrastination or hesitation? The quick answer to that question is no, not at all. In fact, ever since I adopted this mentality, I feel like I've worked more than I ever have in my life. I've certainly accomplished more in this past year than I ever thought I'd be capable of. So by going slowly, slowly, am I slacking off? No, I'm simply making the world, my world, the tasks and challenges and setbacks and ups and downs that are unique to me, I'm simply making all of that much more manageable. Now real quick, before I get too deep into it, I first heard of this phrase, slowly, slowly, when my friend, who goes by the handle Footplate Zero here on YouTube, left it in a comment. And to Footplate Zero, my friend, I owe you a very special thank you. Now this comment was left in one of my videos months ago, but I've been thinking about it ever since. One of the very first realizations I came to when I moved to the homestead here was just how much I needed to get done. There's repairs to make, land to clear, fencing to set, soil to amend, animal structures to build. I could keep going. It's certainly not an exaggeration to say that there are literally hundreds of projects that I have in front of me. And I'll tell you what, when I realized the magnitude of work that needed to get done here, it was a really discouraging moment for me. How in the world am I gonna get all of this stuff done? Carving out a functional homestead from the ground up seemed an impossible task. Overwhelming, insurmountable. But I put my head down and got to work anyway, giving myself the very reasonable goal of getting something done every day, even if that something 
was something small. The goal wasn't necessarily to move quickly. The goal was simply to move forward consistently. Maybe I couldn't clear out the entire barn of junk in one day, but I could clear out one stall. So that's what I did, focus on one manageable task at a time. And you know what I noticed? When I shifted my focus from the macro to the micro, from the forest to just one tree, from the whole barn to just one stall, things actually got done faster. Isn't that odd? By prioritizing slow but consistent gains, I actually ended up getting things done quicker. It was an epiphany. Big, hairy projects didn't seem so big and hairy anymore. So when I was introduced to this concept of slowly, slowly, it fit the idea perfectly. Another way of expressing this sentiment is little by little, a little becomes a lot. Now that we've been on the homestead property for just under a year, we've watched as this principle has borne itself out in multiple different ways. I mean, we've got a productive kitchen garden. We've got nearly 20 laying chickens with more meat chickens on the way. We have four chicken structures and plans for pigs. My parents' house, which was once an eyesore, frankly, is now a beautiful little cottage. We worked on these things slowly, slowly, every day, but look how quickly they all got done. It's a paradox for sure, but a paradox I'm very comfortable with. And look, I understand that we won't always have the luxury of time in our lives. There are situations that occasion acting very quickly on things. I get that, but I found that the more I focus my life on manageable tasks, slowly getting manageable tasks done, those types of situations where I have to act quickly and make decisions like that, they start to dwindle. Also, let's be honest, there is value in taking your time on some things. When we started this journey, we'd see other homesteading YouTube channels and see how they had 20 different breeds of livestock. And I'd ask Holly, how come we aren't planning on 20 different breeds of livestock? Why aren't we talking about cows yet? Why aren't we talking about milking goats just yet? Why do we have to just think about chickens? Well, looking back, if we were to get into 20 different breeds of livestock right away, we'd have set ourselves up for major disaster. We wouldn't have been able to handle that kind of thing. Our infrastructure just isn't set up for that just yet. That's something that we have to work our way into. And another practical application of this slowly, slowly idea. If you look at these homestead channels and see that they have 20 different breeds of livestock, chances are it took them a long time, many years to get to that point. You don't need to feel like you, like you have to get into that right away. Again, the outcome of that could be very, very bad for you if you do jump in too quickly. So friends, to recap, when I say slowly, slowly at the end of each episode, I am not advocating for sloth. I'm not advocating for procrastination or sitting around or hesitation. I am advocating for working hard. I am advocating for consistency. I'm advocating for being deliberate and thoughtful and how you approach your work and how you approach your life. With that all out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this merch. Now recently, Holly and I came up with a few designs that incorporate this phrase, slowly, slowly. We thought those designs looked pretty cool, so we decided to stick them on some t-shirts and some hoodies and a coffee mug. Well, we ordered some samples of these t-shirts and we actually just got them in the mail not that long ago, and so we're gonna be trying them on. So you have the Modern Yeoman t-shirt on, Holly? I do. What do you think? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, that looks good. That looks great. I'm a fan. I well, like you it. came up with this design. You helped to come up with this design. I did. So basically, there's the minimalist design, which I'll show right now. That That's just the word slowly, slowly. And then there's the design with the turtle. And there's a couple of reasons for the turtle. Number one, we actually have a ton of turtles on the property. I've shown you guys pictures of them a lot. So the turtle kingdom is well represented on the Yostead. That's number one. But number two, the turtle represents the old folk tale of the tortoise and the hare, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. But basically, the Cliff's Notes version of it is a tortoise gets into a race with a rabbit. The rabbit assumes he's gonna win because he's a lot faster, but he takes a lot of breaks and he stops for naps a lot. The tortoise, he keeps plodding along. Slowly, slowly, he keeps going. And because of his consistency and his determination to keep going forward slowly, he wins the race. So that's why I kind of consider the tortoise, the turtle, to be kind of an unofficial mascot here on the homestead. As I said, we also have 
a coffee mug that we put this same logo on and I think it looks pretty good and I've enjoyed a couple of cups of coffee from this handsome coffee mug and it works very well for its intended purpose. In addition to t-shirts and mugs we also have these very becoming hoodies and one thing I should mention is that both the hoodies and the t-shirts are unisex so men and women alike can wear these items and look very stylish in them. <laughs> If you like any of these items, whether it's the mug, the t-shirts, or the hoodies, or the message resonates with, with you and you'd like to support the channel, uh, you can find a link to the store where you can purchase these items in the description below. I'll include it right there so you can go and check it out. Again, we'd really appreciate it if, again, if you resonate with the message and you like the design, you pick up a t-shirt. That'd mean a lot to us. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. And as always, remember... Slowly. Slowly. Do you want a t-shirt? Do you want a t-shirt? Do you want a t-shirt? <laughs>